Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, today we are in the shop working on a trailer for our Pioneer over there. And I was starting to cut the uh, three inch channel for the um, for the dovetail back here. And my Makita chop saw just quit. So I don't know, I don't know what the deal is. I think it's an 89 model, um, but it's a model 2414 has 89.5 on the date on the um, sticker over here. I don't know what that means, but the uh, the switch was sounding a little weird, so I thought I'll take it apart and see what we have. And it's just a very simple um, has this little plastic piece that that rides in this channel. Trying to mess with my settings here. You know, maybe do that before the video, right? <laughs> um, so it has these these contacts right there. There and there. And then it has this plastic piece that has these um, oh, copper or aluminum tabs that wrap around. So it piece slides in this channel and then here's the switch or the trigger so that's your it's oriented like that uh, the blue deal here blue deal is your safety you push it with your thumb and then you and then you, you, know, you push that um, push the trigger pulls that and then it, it pushes that slide piece down and it makes contact and that's how you get your power. So I took all I took that apart and uh, cleaned it a little bit and got got all this stuff out of it which I'm sure it has it had a grease of some sorts back in whenever it was made. Um, now these switches are still available. It is a uh, six five one 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 three six. I think it's that's been superseded by I think thirty four is the last two numbers. Um, the switches are available. They're they're twenty nine dollars. They're you know that's pretty reasonable. But I thought I would just tear into it because I've never been in one. So. I just wanted to see how it worked. Um, and then to put it back together, see that just fits in there like that. It's got a little, um, has a little gasket on here. And you just push it back together. And it uses two of these tiny tiny little Phillips and luckily I had a small enough Phillips I didn't think I would but I dug through all my boxes and I found one Okay, so that's back together. And then just fish it back into its location. There's a couple of um, brass Um, 
some inserts that everything has to go through and around and everything is wired at a specific uh, you know location and Get one started up here in the handle and back the guys up a little bit. And it uses, I think it has a different length of screw. Every single, every single one. So, as I was looking around, I just realized I forgot to put the two back in the switch. There we go, we got one more. It is all plastic, so you don't really want to really torque anything down. I don't have high hopes for this uh, this repair working. Um, but I pulled the uh, I can't see it there. I pulled the contacts out and they didn't look terrible. There's still lots of lots of life left on those, so I don't know, the motor it just could have just quit, you know. This thing will sit for, you know, a year, year and a half, and then I'll get a wild hair and decide I'm gonna build a trailer or something, and then, and then it gets, gets used all day. See if you pull the trigger, nothing happens. Push in on the thumb. Okay. Back up just a little bit more. Get 
get it plugged in. And we'll see if anything happens. There we go. Well, good deal. Um, you know, not a real exciting video, but it's, it's something, I guess. Um, so, yeah, you know, just a simple take a few screws out and uh, just try something so alright guys thanks for watching I appreciate all of you and uh, you guys have a great day take it easy